Hey everyone, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bracado, and today's question comes from me. What do you know? Today's question is, what the fuck is a sharp spin? Okay, so let me give you a bit of background. Uh, on the channel, I've been seeing a lot of guys uh, comment about a sharp spin, right? And I knew it had something to do with disposing of needles and something like that. I'd seen people commenting on it before uh, in terms of TRT, disposing needles, and also some other guys made comments about um, how you need to do it, you know, for disposing needles that are involved with drugs. So naturally I was curious. I wanted to find out what everyone was talking about because I didn't have a fucking clue. And so I did a bit of research online and at the end of it all, it makes sense, right? So um, basically what I found out is a sharp spin is just a little bin that you get, like this one. I don't know if you can see that. And basically what it's used for is putting your old discarded and used needles into. And then when it's full, you can get the local council to come collect it or you can take it to your local council or clinic or any collection point that's available in the public. Now, it's mainly used for disposing of needles, like, in, like when you use for injecting TRT or for the guys that take steroids, uh, and also for druggies. They, they're supposed to get rid of their needles this way, and then when it's full, you just dispose of it. Now, I never heard of this before, right? I've never been using this. I've just been taking my needles, putting the plastic caps back on them and tossing them in the trash. And that was working fine for me until I started reading all your comments. And um, I, I was careful. I mean, a lot of the time I would just, you know, I wouldn't just chuck the needle with a plastic cover into the bin. I'd put it into some sort of container or cool drink tub or something like that, or a yogurt container and make sure it was sealed or something that it didn't come out. And um, I think the reason uh, this is necessary is because it's, you know, I did look this up and it doesn't seem to be a legal requirement that you have to use one of these, but it's kind of more like a ethical thing to do. It's a good thing to do, a best practice, a good practice to do, kind of like splitting up your recyclables and, you know, putting them into the different uh, plastic and glass and that type of stuff and just doing a little bit for society. And also because if you're putting loose needles into the trash and the caps come off a sudden and they're just there in the soft plastic bags and if you've got sort of the municipality workers and that picking these things up and they get poked by one of these needles you know they could be used blood on there they could be some sort of disease or some they could get some sort of infection and that type of thing so i guess you don't really want to expose those poor guys to things like that so it kind of made sense and um I bought this one off Amazon. I think it was about three or four pounds and you actually got two of them. And you can see, you just lift the thing up. You put your, you just put your discarded needle into there and you shut it and when it's full, you get rid of it. I, I bought mine on Amazon, like I said, but I'm pretty sure you could probably get them at your council or at a clinic for free, right? Because they are, if you look online, it's, it is recommended to use these things. So I just want to say thank you guys for talking about this stuff in the comments because before this I didn't have a clue what a sharps burn was. I didn't know that it's best practice to use something like this. So this is why it's always good to have this sort of dialogue online. So thank you for answering my question and I will see you guys in the next TRT Q&A. Ciao.